everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HPAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can create our own library for functions. So let's go to the presentation. So let's start by uh, having a function block. We have already seen how we can create a function block. I got the feeling that we already seen that. So once the function block is done, we can edit the function block properties. So we can have a description of the function block. We can add an image over there and then just continue to save it. Okay. So that would be like the fancy way to have an image. Then once we have the function block already done, what you need to do is to export to a library. So right click, export to a library. Then the software will show this pop-up message this window message that you need to specify the name for the library it will say the file i believe as plc dot uh, plc lib for library then just name it save it and that's it okay it will give you this message uh, terminated with success okay so Uh, I spoil it. So let's have a look on this one first. So I'm going to show you how I usually work with this. So I'm going to create a new project. Okay. So this PLC is going to be PLC library. And I'm going to add another one just called plc test okay i'm going to save this in a position in my pc so i'm going to save it over here so i'm going to use my library project okay i save the installer as a whole um then here what we need to do is to create the open source yes i want this to be creative then we probably add it it will be open on the other side okay and there we go so what we need to do here is to create our function block so new function block my control run motor for example my motor control motor control i usually use fb for function block as a name so here we just need to define all the inputs and outputs so here run stop I usually use i underscore to indicate there is an input um run stop i velocity in case i don't know something and then we just define the output q underscore running just to just to add something okay so in this case input I'm going to directly link it in here just like that i'm going to make a move it doesn't matter what you have i just want to show you how to create this okay so you have your logic already in there and then you should be able to export it okay so for the function block okay if the best thing for me in my opinion would be to create the function block probably in text in structured text if you are comfortable with that and then use in a pou as function block 
fpd uh, invalid name okay because i didn't add my program time and then use this one in a instance in a fancy way to to take a look on this one okay you can also um, add images over here function block set uh, la 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 and here just browse for the icon okay and yeah that should be it there's no going to more details but this is how you can call it again the function block and then going to delete it okay so this is my program i have already done so this you can test it inside this project once it works then it's time to export it let's export it and then talk about a few other things so export to a library here i just need to select where to, i want this to be installed in my case i'm going to put it on on the same folder uh or i'm going to put it over here in this library so my library it's going to be called my library and save here you have the version of the library and then my training idea okay now let's create another function block new function block st fb uh my motor control 2 I'm going to copy all this copy I do need to create one and paste it and let's say that x run is going to be equal run okay and save I'll say the project now I can export this one also export to library export to the same library okay and save it then it will increment the version we can also create a new definition as enumeration for example name is going to be um, enum motor and here you can find the motor status for example if it's stop motor stop motor run another one motor patalera that's it so we can also export this export to library to the same library in case that definition is going to be used in different projects so we can save it and it will also increment the library version good so we have already export everything so now let's go to the library so this is the library you can see this is the project the uh the installer the hub the plc's and have here my library so if we edit this i usually go here with atom you can use any notepad or whatever i just use that one because for me it's much easier here you can see that i have my library okay and here you can see the code okay in this case this one is the my motor control the version one uh they have the description la 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 and then you can see here my motor control 2 and i can see here the code okay which is fine okay but if you're having a library the idea is not to show to anyone what is inside the code so you can protect your uh, intellectual property so in order to avoid that 
we need to go again to the software here undefined for example here crypt password let's set one two three four five six one two three four five six okay scripted as you can see there is a lock now we should be able to export it again to the same library it will increment the new version yes i want to overwrite it yes so now we can go again to the to the library i remember where is it here open it again uh open with atom uh, and here you can see that the code is scripted good so this is just for you to to protect the, your intellectual property uh, and the good thing of having this already in a layer is that you can easily reuse it in other projects um so now now that the function block is working fine i have already exported this um i sh i want to see how it looks like okay so here we just need to add that library into here so i'm going to add it here you can see i have my library okay going to open it okay and close and here you have some issues because i already trying to add a library that have the same option names as the project that i have so one solution here would be to okay i delete the function block that i already created but if it's already protected you don't have a backup so that's why i have this in the installer to plc's so this is how I usually work. Doesn't mean that you need to do it, but this is how I work. So from here, I just delete the library. Okay. And then we just go to the installer on the test PLC. We just add this one. Open it will create new controller. You will open that in the other screen, or I will really probably this one. No, in the other screen just move it to the other side mm -hmm. and now here in the programming we just need to add the library add library my library plc open close and if we take a look here my library i have the enumerator property windows here with information the function blocks that are enabled to access here because i didn't protect it but here you can see the lock so even if i click over here i'm able to see but i'm able to see the properties which is good okay then you have the numerator you can add uh, additional folders inside okay you can export it but that will be covered later the next video let's find it wrong so we already covered how we can export it it's possible to import this library in the same project with the actual function blocks. We already seen that it's not possible. Okay. And uh, to do to, to, to see how you can import it, I already showed you that if you have the library tree here, select add, then just go where the library is in your PC, add it, and then you should be able to see that with all the function blocks that I show over here. Okay. And then to, to create two folders, we have already done something similar to this, so don't worry. Create a function block, create an unknown, export the library, open, import, import the library. Okay, this one we didn't add it, but we're going to explain that later because you should be able to add the function blocks in a. Yeah, let's, let's do it. For example, uh, let's duplicate this uh, my new motor okay and I'm going to enum duplicate enum motor 2 so we can add this in a folder so fbs fbs 
folder for motor i'm going to drag and drop over here the new motor control so i can export this to a library okay export uh no i believe I will delete that. So let's replace. Yes. Okay. And then let's see how it looks like. Test here. I'm going to reload this, refresh because I have made a modification. And if we go to my library, I can see these two together again. Okay. But that's what the problem because I had everything in just one function block in one folder what i'm going to do later is to explain how you can separate this okay and how to make it much better so you don't have this issue when you want to export it so let's create a new library a new folder rename my functions motor app hold and on folder export to library yeah then let's see how it looks like on the test okay it's separate by folder okay so now you can see this a bit more organized and what i'm going to do is how you can organize this view how your folders in different someone is at the front door yeah someone's in front of in different folders so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one